we consider this matter closed. That's a phrase that Port of Monroe Director Paul Lamar III has become quite familiar with as it summarizes a long stalemate between the port and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Detroit field office. The Port of Monroe is along the River Raisin, just off Front Street and east of I-75. It provides easy access from Lake Erie to both the interstate and rail. Lamar often calls it the biggest little port on Lake Erie, explaining that it provides support of 1,600 jobs and $96 million of economic activity to the region. But there are challenges. For example, the Detroit field office says Port of Monroe does not have the proper equipment needed to scan and clear certain international cargo. But the Detroit field office also says its resources are not guaranteed to the Monroe port. The lost opportunities are getting attention at a time when Lamar is among those who see shipping as a way to diversify Monroe's economy. A University of Michigan study estimates that just one lost cargo stop because of a dispute with Customs and Border Patrol during 2017 cost Monroe more than $15 million in lost revenue. That vessel went to the Port of Cleveland instead, and in response, the Port of Monroe's tugboat flew a flag with the slogan, Don't Give Up the Ship. That's not counting the lost business that University of Michigan says containerized cargo could bring to the region. But at this time, Monroe is not authorized to handle it. Lamar says settling even one of the disputed details regarding boat cargo could allow Port of Monroe to recover nearly half the business it is losing. You'll find more details in a special two-page report in the August 25th edition of the Monroe News and at monroenews.com.